Namaste, one, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sanskrit Mantras. I'm here again in the beautiful city of Boston at the end of a beautiful fall day, a Sunday, and with my great friend, Jill Jardine Parasak Parashakti Priestess. Namaste, Shivani. Namaste, Namaste, YouTube channel. Okay, today we're talking about healing. I want you to talk because uh, Jill is not only a mantra teacher, but she's also an astrologer and a healer in many forms. And I would like you to let my uh, viewers know about your healing um, tools. What do you do for healing besides the mantra or along with the mantra? Well, these days I am empowering people to heal themselves. Uh, in the Hermetic temples, the Maxim healer heal thyself is one that we can all follow. I worked for 25 years as a hands-on healer doing massage and other energy work on clients and currently I'm working as a yoga teacher again. I've been teaching yoga for 25 years and I teach my students that the yoga of sound mantra can help with healing what is affecting them. I work heavily with clients in helping to heal the glandular system because it is the key to balance in the body as is the digestive system. So there are many mantras you can do for healing self or others and depending on what organ or just general overall healing mantras and you can do them yourself or you can give them to others to chant for themselves. If somebody is going into let's say a surgery or they have ongoing chronic issues or acute issues, you can send them the healing with the qualification, I send the healing to so-and-so, but I don't take on their karma. Mm -hmm. So one good overall healing mantra that I teach to all my students and clients, a very basic, powerful healing mantra is Om Ram Ramaya Swaha, which is to the deity Ram. Mm -hmm which well, I Shivani say, can say more yeah, about. Yeah, I, I would like to say why the Ram, Rama mantras. Rama is a, an avatar of Vishnu. And uh, the reason why his mantras are so healing is because when he was exiled in the, um, um, in the woods, he um, stepped on a stone and the stone came back into life. This was this woman that had a curse that from her husband that he he gave her a curse that she was going to turn into a stone. And when Rama was walking on the woods and stepped on her, he gave her her life back. And thus becoming, you know, having the reputation of being healing. And then all of um, Rama's mantras are highly healing. And this is um, a particular mantra that is used for, for heal. Very for healing. powerful Very mantra. Powerful for whatever ails you, any kind of uh, physical, emotional, or mental issue. And like Jill said, it could be chanted for yourself or on somebody else's behalf, always, like I've taught you before, um, not to take on the karma of the person that you're chanting for, unless it's your own child, where you don't have to state that, if you're chanting for your own child, right, That, Jill? that is correct, Shivani. Alrighty, and also uh, I've said this many times, but I'm going to say it again. I'm also very grateful to Jill because she was my first mantra teacher, and she Namaste, Shivani. Yeah, she introduced uh, me to our beloved teacher Namadeva Charya and Satyabama and all their lineage. We we didn't get to meet San Keshavadas in the flesh, but he guides us uh, somehow, and also we have had the blessing to be very close to Sadhguru Rama Mata and her son Murali Darpai. So we do come from a lineage, our knowledge and our uh, teachings come from a lineage that is very important and to We have. are so fortunate to have such fortunate. powerful and true teachers, gurus. Yeah, Sadhgurus, very well. So we're gonna chant uh, Om Ram Ramaya Swaha. Um, do you want to tell a little bit why, about the termination, the difference between Namaha and Swaha? Well, um, in astrology, we come of age at the age 28, which is the Saturn return. And so the Kundalini can't fully activate through our body until after that time of 28. So the Swaha ending tends to be a little bit more powerful in bringing Kundalini up through 
the body through the energetic body and the physical body. So up until the age of 28, it is advised to chant mantras with the Namaha salutation or ending. And then after 28, after the Saturn return, the first one that happens between 28 and 30, but 28 is the standard age that you can then say mantras with the ending swaha, the salutation swaha. But also there are certain mantras that you don't chant with swaha regardless of your age. Like right. Like Ganesh mantras. Just like in Vedic Yoga astrology, mantras. the swaha namaha endings, there's, there's many different um, twists to when mm -hmm. to chant them. So that's where you need to consult with a mantra teacher who has been initiated into a lineage because you will not get the same effect if you're chanting a mantra with the wrong salutation on the end. All right. So without further ado, we're going to chant Om Ram Ramaya Swaha. Here we go. Om Ram Ramaya Swaha. 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 
Om Ram Ramaya Swaha 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 Thank you Jill for doing us the honor of uh, answering all these astrological questions and I look forward to seeing you in Florida. Namaste, Shivani. I can't wait to get down there into the sun. Probably about February in Boston, I'll be down there visiting. That is awesome. Namaste. Namaste. Have a blessed day. Tadatsu. Tadatsu. See the streaming that we have?